Hello, and welcome to lecture 7. So far, we have learned how to create different widgets from the TK Intel library. Today, we're going to focus on a specific widget, the entry box. The entry box is a little box where you can type in different information. In Google, you use the entry box to search for what you want. To be more specific, today, we're going to create a program that looks something like this. You can type in the name of your friends. When you push the button, the name will be added into the list box. Essentially, when we push the button, we take what's inside the entry box and insert it inside the list box. We will also learn about the spacing of the widgets. You see how there are spaces between the entry box and the button, as well as the list and the button. These spaces are called paddings. Notice also that the entry box is aligned to the left, while the button is aligned to the right. This is called anchor. We will learn how to anchor the widget to the left side or to the right side. So let's get started. Like always, we start by telling the computer what kind of program are we running. We're running a Python program. Next, we include the TK into library. This is important for us to create windows. Like we have done many, many times, now we create window called root, and we tell the root to go into the main loop to make the window appear. We should probably try to run this first to make sure that everything is working. So let's try to run the program. This is the window we just created. Next, let's adjust the size of the window with the geometry command. Root geometry. From the previous lecture, we learned that the first number controls the width, while the second number controls the height. The last two numbers control the location where the window would pop up. Now that we have finished with the geometry, we are ready to create an entry box. The entry box will go inside the main window called root. The background for the entry box will be white. Once we have created the entry box, we will call it ENT, E-N-T for entry. Next, let's also create a button using the button command. The button will go inside the main window, root. On top of the button, it will say, press me. Once we have created the button, we'll call it mm, button. Lastly, we'll create a list box to hold our friends' names. The list box could be created using the command list box. Like the rest of them, you will also go into the main window. Let's make the background yellow. Let's not forget that now that we have created the widgets, we also need to make them appear. First, we'll pack the entry box into the window. Second, we'll also pack the button into the window. And lastly, we'll pack the list box into the window. If everything is working out fine, we should see a window with all three widgets packed into them. Let's try to run the program. Good job! I want you to take a close look at the widget. Notice that they are not spaced apart. They are all kind of bunched together. It's easy to add padding between them so that they look more spaced apart. There are two types of padding. One type controls the space between the left and the right side of the widget. Another type controls the space between the top and the bottom of the widget. Now, if we go back to the code, if I want to add more padding in the vertical direction, I would add the command pad y equals 10. This controls the spacing at the top of the button of the widget as well as the bottom. If you want to control the space between the left and the right side of the widget, you will use pad x. So now, 
If we run the program, it will look something like this. Notice how there are now space between the buttons and the other two widgets. You can add the padding into any of the widgets and control the spacing accordingly. Sometimes you might want to make the button align to the left or the right side. To do this, you will use the keyword anchor to anchor the button. For our case, we'll anchor the button to the east side. You want to make sure that E is capital E. You can also anchor the button to the west side by putting capital W instead. So now, if we run the program, the button will end up on the right side. Good job.